course I miss you, darling. This is the loneliest place on earth. Most exciting thing ever happens here is a day when it don't rain. Uh, excuse me, darling, I got some work to do. What the heck is that? Get on in here, Pete. We got us a big old asteroid on a three-week collision course with Earth. The asteroid has been named Attila after the war leader of the Huns, who devastated Europe just before the fall of the Roman Empire. Attila was first spotted in a tracking station in Borneo. According to NASA sources, the probability of impact with Earth is 99%. Five, four, ignition. up and away. This is not a mission the shuttle was designed for, but as Mission Commander Boston Lowe said in the press conference last night, If the shuttle is the last hope of the human race, then it'll have to do the job, won't it? Excuse me, Wait a minute, folks. Let me introduce the landing team. Ludger Brink is a noted geologist. He'll evaluate our data on placement of the nuclear devices. We have to be accurate. The idea isn't to blow Attila to bits. If we did, some of the pieces would certainly hit Earth with devastating effect. And now I hardly have to introduce Maggie Robbins to you. She's probably the most well-known journalist in the world. Uh, Maggie, you're famous for having once said that you never put up with censorship in any form. Now you're under NASA command. Miss Robbins is a reporter by vocation, but on this mission, she's... I think I can answer the question myself, Commander Lowe. Danny, I trained for this mission, and I have work to do in laying the nuclear charges. When I come home, I'll be a reporter and tell you all about it. But during the mission, I'm part of the team, and I will obey Commander Lowe like any good soldier. That may be the biggest news story of all. Maggie Robbins obeys orders. In going over your bios, I find that Professor Brink is also a noted archaeologist. While it's well known that Maggie is a prodigy at learning new languages, is this just coincidence? Not at all. We wanted the best and the brightest for this mission. Dr. Brink and Ms. Robbins are not narrow specialists. They are resourceful, widely educated, and creative thinkers. Does that apply to you too, Commander Lowe? My job is to keep everybody alive. I don't have to be bright, I just have to be careful. The other two crew members will remain with the shuttle. Ken Borden is the most experienced shuttle pilot we have. Cora Miles is our payload specialist. As you all know, she's a candidate for Congress, but we figured saving the planet is more important than campaigning. It's cheaper, too. Any parting message for the people of Earth? We have exactly one chance, and we've got to do it right. Let all your prayers be with us. Robin's here. 
Going independent. Welcome to the wonderful world of space. Don't bump into anything. <laughs> I'll be careful, Commander. Brink here, going independent. Howdy, Brink. Welcome to the place where geology and astronomy meet. A professor once told me, astronomers are geologists with clean hands and a squint. You going to quote him on that in some magazine, Robbins? I'm just part of the landing team right now, Commander Lowe. Load a break, command break. I read you, Lowe. What is it? What do you think of our star reporter? Very unorthodox, bringing a reporter on a space mission. But she is very capable, and she writes interesting stories. Everything okay with the pig? Everything's fine as far as I can see, Commander. Miles can tell you more than I can. Are you getting a good look at the asteroid brick? I have hardly looked at anything else, Commander. Happy to set foot on a new world, Brink? Attila is a very old world, Commander. It is merely new to us. Let me know if you see anything unusual with the asteroid. No problems yet, Commander. Have you noticed anything unusual? No one has ever been this close to an asteroid before, Commander. I cannot possibly know what is usual or unusual. Is there anything that should make us reconsider the placement of the charges? The original choice of quadrant seems adequate, Commander. Do you see any problems, Brink? As you Americans might say, Commander, we will kick Attila's butt. Low out. Robbins, this is low. Do you read? Robbins here. I read you. What do you think of our archaeologist, Brink? I'm very impressed with his experience. He headed the U.S. Geological Survey team that mapped the surface of Venus. He'll be taking a close look at the asteroid to make certain the detonation points they've chosen are suitable. See that big tool chest? We call it the pig. I've logged a hundred hours working with every tool in the pig, Commander Lowe. Everything okay with the pig? As far as I can see, Commander. Getting anything juicy for your first article? I'm not writing my article right now, Commander Lowe. This is all pretty dull so far, Robbins. I hope you can find something interesting for your lead. Commander Lowe, am I doing something wrong? No, I'm just trying to be friendly. And I'm trying to be a good crew member. Can't you forget for even one second that I'm a reporter? Just want to make sure you're having a wonderful time, Robbins. I'm very, very happy, Commander Lowe. Have you looked up at the Earth yet, Robbins? Oh, is that big blue thing the Earth? Some people get vertigo when they realize that they're hanging upside down 200 miles over the ocean. Do some of them throw up? Is that what you want me to do? I thought it was something you might want to write about. I actually had a pretty good career as a writer before I had you to think up ideas for me, Commander. I just want you to be happy, Robbins. So you'll write nice things about us. I'm very, very happy, Commander Lowe. I hope you're still happy, Robbins. I'm very, very happy, Commander Lowe. Lowe out. Borden, this is Lowe. Do you read? I'm here, boss. Any problem?
problem with us taking the pig now, Ken? Just tell Miles and you can take the little squealer to market. This is one big ugly pig. Is that why Cora always calls it her baby? I heard that, Ken. Are we in position, Ken? Attila's given us less gravity than I expected, but the attitude jets are compensating. You're saying Attila is less massive than we expected. Hey, maybe Attila's nothing but a big old bubble. How do we know what's inside an asteroid? Let me know if you notice something that would change our mission parameters. Sure thing, boss. Right now, Attila's sleeping like a baby. You ready for us to park company, Ken? Everything's in position, boss. Low out. Miles, this is low. Do you read? Yeah, 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 Boston. I'm on you. You, you wish. wish. In, In your, your dreams. dreams. <laughs> <laughs> How's the congressional campaign going without you? Well, my opponent is demanding equal time in space. With or without a suit? Just don't screw up the mission, Boston, and I'll be in Congress next January. I just want you to know, you've got my vote, Cora. Till my opponent offers you more money. I just want you to know, you've got my vote, Cora. Only if you move to Mississippi, Boston. We're ready when you are, Cora. Just give the word, Boston, and you got yourself a pig. Ready for the deployment of the free fall tool chest. Is the crew clear of the area? Crew is clear. Proceed. Thinking of nuclear explosives as precision instruments, isn't it? I think it's a nice change, compared to thinking of them as weapons. Oh, I see. That's your story angle. Nukes to save the world instead of destroy it. That's way too long to be the headline, Commander. More likely it'll be, nukes save world. Or maybe, nukes blast Attila off course. I thought it would be space aliens plot to abduct astronauts, destroy Earth with giant rock. Apparently my career is amusing to you, Commander. Why is it I can tease everybody on this crew except you? Because they know you like them, Commander. I like you, Robbins. No, you don't. Let's blow up a planetoid together sometime, Robbins. Oh, you think of the most romantic ideas. You're kidding. That's the first time I've teased you and you didn't bite my head off. That was the first time you didn't make fun of my profession. Low out.
Miles, this is low. Do you read? Miles here. Everything okay with the explosives, Cora? They're ready to pin the tail on Attila. Just make sure you tie them down right, Boston. Low, over and out. It's where explosive alpha should be placed. Let's see if we can clear up old Attila's complexion. Nice and smooth now. Shuttle, this is low. We're placing the explosive in quadrant two. Acknowledged. Could you give me a hand with this brink? I'll be right there, Commander Low. Excellent work, Brink. Ken, the charge is set. Instruments confirm. Hey, I'm just so proud of you boys. Load a brink. Come in, brink. Brink here. The explosive charges haven't been bumped or anything, have they, brink? Alpha charge and beta charge are both doing fine, Commander. Low out. right where I need to plant the nuke. Cora, Ken, I'm jamming the shovel in under the boulder, then using maximum down thrust to pry it up. Does that sound workable? Well, I'm a little short on data about the tensile strength of shovel handles and zero-G under maximum thrust conditions. In other words, who knows, it might work. Boss, be careful. If the handle breaks, maximum down thrust will smash you right into Attila. You know the saying, whether the stone hits the glass or the glass hits the stone, it ain't gonna hurt the stone. Thanks for the encouragement, Ken. Frank, if this actually works, the boulder's going to come flying straight at you. Better fly clear. Thanks for the warning. Looks like it worked. Now aren't you glad I made sure the tool chest had a shovel in it? My rule is, if you can pick it up, take it with you, because you never know when you might need it. I have the same rule, Cora, but I thought it only applied to women in bars. If you can pick her up... <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Ken. You don't want to find yourself getting quoted as a sexist pig in Maggie's article. I'm not here to spy on you. Lighten up, Robbins. They're just teasing you. If they thought you were really a spy, they'd never talk freely on the open frequency. Shuttle, this is low. Now placing the explosive on the face of the asteroid in Quadrant 3. Hey, acknowledged. I need another hand here, Brink. Of course, Commander.
Miles, this is Lowe. Do you read? I read you, Lowe. What is it? How are we doing with the nuke score? Much better, Boston, when you get both of them planted and armed. Low out. It's explosive device beta. Look at the pretty red light, boys and girls. I'd say this charge is armed. This asteroid has a pair of landing lights now, kids. Stick a fork in us, we're done. Who writes your material, Commander? I get it all out of the newspapers, Robbins. Shuttle and watch Attila do the old fire dance. Borden, this is low. Do you read? I'm here, boss. Both nukes are in place and armed. We made pretty good time, I think. Looks good, boss. Come on back inside for the fireworks. Confirm everybody inside. All in, Cora. All clear payload. All clear, landing team. All clear, shuttle. Confirm doors closed. Doors closed. Let's see what Attila looks like after plastic surgery. 